What's up guys, I'm Chris of Emery and today we're going to fully draw and do a basic rig of the most chill one of the Green Ninja Turtle Bro Gang. Yes, the one who doesn't take shit so damn seriously, Michelangelo or Mikey, you know, pizza, skateboarding and all that. This will be a pretty long one, starting with some time-lapse drawing in Photoshop and then real-time rigging in Character Animator. So, I suggest you go to the links pinned in comments if you wanna go directly to the rigging or whatever part you're interested in. Anyways, let's Chow get straight to- ah! Oh shit, Mikey, no, 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 no. Alright, so I'm starting off with a new layer where I create a really rough sketch just to play around and get a feel of what kind of character I'm going for. I personally really like sketching with a low opacity standard brush in red. And what I'm going for here style wise, I'd say is definitely a bit goofy looking with long arms and legs. Some of the old turtles I grew up with will be in there for sure, but mixed with some of my own style as well. And when I feel I'm happy with a really rough sketch, I increase the opacity on my brush quite a bit and go through the whole thing once again in that same layer fine-tuning some parts along the way, as well as adding some more detail to it. When I feel I'm done, it's time to start finalizing the parts with line work and color. As you can see here, I have my plus Mikey main group, and inside that group I create a hand and body group. I start out with the torso, beginning with the line work, and then color. I put a few blobs of color on the sides so that they are easy to pick up. When done with the torso, I continue with a group called left arm inside the body group and there I'll do an upper and lower arm. The reason I duplicated the torso is just to have the colors to pick from when coloring my arm instead of doing the blobs again. When doing these quick characters, I create the right arm just by duplicating the left arm and putting the new group below the torso in the layer structure. From there I do some small adjustments if I feel like it needs to be done. Then I go back to the left arm group and create a hand layer. Line work first and then color. Then putting the layer in the back of all layers in the left arm group. I copy the hand for the right arm group and do the same adjustments on it to make it look okay. Again, this is a really quick design, sort of something I would do for a side character that won't have too much screen time. When done with torso and arms, it's time for the legs. One layer for each leg into the body group. Line work, then color. Then duplicate the leg to create the left one. I won't really use the legs in this character, so I don't waste too much time on them. A general tip in animation or art in general is knowing what to put time into and not. Don't waste it on things that you won't even show or use. Again, I look at my character and do adjustments if I find anything. And now it's time to work on the head. I put down the opacity on the body to be able to see more of the sketch. And I create a head base layer under the head group. When done, I draw the eyeball layer in a plus left eye group. I create a plus left pupil in the plus left eye group. And then I create a left blink group where I'll create three blink layers drawn over the eyeball and duplicate the last fully blink layer two times so that it's five blink layers in total. One and two being blink start and half blink, then three, four, five being full blink layers. I duplicate the entire plus left eye group and flip it to create the right eye. Don't forget to rename the layers named left in the duplicated group to the right and so that character animator will recognize them for what they are. As for the final part being the mouth, I always import a template from the example puppets in character animator. I just co copy the entire mouth group from that puppet and paste it into my head group. Then I put the layers a bit to the side as reference and draw the mouth in the style I want for my character in that exact layer. And same goes for every layer in the mouth group. On some of my layers I want the jaw to move as well, 
so I just draw a little extension of the jaw on those. Also, the reason why I keep the above layer transparent when drawing the new one is purely for placement. We don't want the mouth to dance around when it talks. Also, don't forget to delete the template mouth on every layer when done. Alright, my character is done and let's do a quick look on the layer structure. I have a plus Mikey main group with head and a body group inside. Head contains my mouth group, right eye, left eye and base. Mouth structure is copied straight from the template. And right eye group got a blink group. Same goes for the left eye that is just a flipped version of the right. And then we have body containing a left arm with upper, lower and hand in it. I have a torso copy that I don't need anymore, so let's delete that. Torso, left leg and right leg, below them is the right arm. Of course, it's important to keep all the layers uh, and groups in the right order. And that's it, basic structure for a basic rig. Time to hit character animator. Okay, so with character animator up and running, I double click under project and select my Mikey PSD file to import it. And with Mikey now in projects, I double click it to enter rig mode. And from here, I can see the entire layer structure for my Photoshop file. Let's hit the clapperboard icon to see how Mikey does in the scene without any actual rigging. Yeah, he needs some work. Back to rig mode. And I start by selecting the body and the pin tool to pin his feet to the ground. One on each foot. I also change the origin placement more to the center and... Let's tag it waist up here in tags. Then I select the handle tool and place it at the neck. And tag it neck in the neck panel. Now let's have a look at the arms. I noticed how I actually didn't make the arms independent objects by naming them plus left arm and plus right arm in Photoshop. But by clicking the empty box next to them so that they uh, get the crown symbol actually does the same thing. Now they both are independent objects. So first off with the left arm I select it and drag the origin handle to the shoulder. I then select the uh, stick tool and click and drag out bones for upper arm and forearm. I put a dragger on my hand and then another handle on the elbow. Now let's tag the arm just like I did to the body. We've got left shoulder left elbow and left wrist. Same thing goes for the right arm. Select right arm, change origin to shoulder, stick tool for bones, Drag around the hand and the handle on the elbow. Tagging right shoulder, right elbow and right wrist. Actually the wrist should be uh, moved up a little bit. And by the way I love how you can just move these uh, how you want after they are placed. Alright, let's check out the scene. And that's much better. Arms move how I want. If I want the arms to return to the uh, initial pose, I just head into properties to the right and select the dragger. Under after move, I change it to return to rest. And let's change duration to 2 seconds. If I want more control on my arms though, uh, 
and not to have them all stretchy like this, I need to add a behavior to my arms called arm IK. We do that back in uh, rigging mode. Select the arm and go down to the right, all the way to the behaviors. Click the plus sign and select arm IK. Now here I can decrease the uh, stretchiness of my arm. Same thing on the other arm. And we have no more stretchy arms. But I do have a funky bend on my right arm though, and let's fix that. Okay, back into rig mode and select the uh, right arm to check the uh, IK again. Let's uncheck outer bend and see how that looks. Back to the scene. And yep, perfect. Now let's focus on the head. I'll move the origin down a little bit and let's start with the mouth. In our mouth layer we have a few mouth groups and by default character animator won't know what to do with those groups uh, and just hide the mouth. Uh, so we have to add the uh, behavior cycle layers to them and in the properties we select hold on last layer. Let's check and mouth works. However, eyes are terrible. By default, the group that Blink is in will uh, hide everything else, including the eyeball during the Blink. And we can get around that by getting back into Photoshop and put the Blink groups uh, in inside a group called Eyelid. Then we get back into character animator and select both blink groups. And add behavior cycle layers. In properties, check boxes, forward and reverse and hold on last layer. Back to scene and blinks are perfect. If the pupils are moving out of the eyeball, we go down to eye gaze under properties and uncheck camera input and I personally prefer to handle eyes with keyboard input. Uh, then I adjust the uh, keyboard strength to something like 50%. And now I can control the pupils with the arrow keys. And they will stay inside the eyeball all the time. Alright, I think we're almost done. But we haven't used the uh, cool tool called dangle yet. And the perfect use for that would be the uh, ends of the turtle mask. So let's head back into Photoshop. Under the head group I create a new layer called cloth. Because I have no idea what the correct name for that part is. Uh, line work, then color. When done with the first one, I'll just duplicate that and change the size and placement a little bit. They also need to be independent objects, so I'll just put a plus in front of the names, as well as put both layers behind my head base layer. I save and back into character animator they will appear immediately but they are a bit stiff rig mode I select cloth 2 and place its origin to the invisible knot and then uh, place a dangle at the opposite end same procedure on cloth 1 origin and dangle and then back to scene and it works great if we want to change some parameters, we just go down to physics and adjust. Alright, one last detail I want to add, uh, and that's of course the belt parts and 
it's basically just the same thing back into Photoshop create new layers this time in the body group line work color and save They appear in character animator and if you want to you can repeat the dangle process on those. Uh, and that's it. Quick basic rig in character animator done from scratch. You can obviously do stuff more advanced than this but I like keeping it pretty nice and simple. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check back for more tutorials, freelancing advice and stuff like that in the near future. I'll continue cleaning this mess up and um, yeah, uh, see you uh, next time.